Lucas Media, Earl Spence, who is the former unified champion at 147 pounds, WBC, WBA, IBF world champion, who has a current record of 28 and 1 with 22 KOs, stated that he had a eye surgery, specifically cataract. Now, Earl Spence, uh, who is coming off a loss against Terrence Bud Crawford, who has a record of 39 and 0, and uh, Bud, Bud Crawford also is the now former undisputed champion at 147 pounds, which he took the three belts from Earl Spence, and now he and he also had the WBO belt. But a lot of people thought that something was off about. Earl that night, Earl never gave an excuse, but today he, or he posted on Twitter, Ish was covering my eye, why do you think I got hit with so many jabs and hooks, still a great performance by bro, this was Spence wrote on Instagram, now one thing that also should be noted that in August 2021, Right before he was finna fight Manny Pacquiao, a uh, little bit under two weeks before, he put out of the fight um, to to have retina surgery in his left eye. Now, the rest is, the rest is history because Manny Pacquiao fought uh, Ugas. Ugas got the belt. Spence ended up beating Ugas for the belt to fight for Terrence Crawford unification. Now, Terrence Crawford also posted on Twitter that he didn't necessarily have the boxing lifestyle. And he said, you can kill the retired-ish, though. I got my backside beat. But that was past due. I didn't exactly live like a boxer for the most part. Now, uh, Terrence Crawford, uh, Crawford says, basically, he wrote on Twitter, no comment. And here's my personal take. Earl did look like he was off. He didn't seem himself. He looked old, slow in the ring. Terrence Crawford was beating him on the jab. Terrence Crawford was the, more, was the quicker, stronger opponent. It really seemed like he was so more outclassed by Terrence Crawford that everybody was like, it's got to be something. Now, I think regardless, personally, the outcome would have probably been the same. Terrence Crawford still winning. I don't know if it would have been as bad, but either way, Terrence Crawford was going to win that fight. Now, we'll have to see where things go and see how Earl Spence functions. Is he going to be any what better or is it going to be the same outcome? A lot of people think that he shouldn't have necessarily exercise his claws and maybe did a filler fight or move up to 154. I think the fight's going to be at 154. But then you heard things about possibly 147, but now the fight's not going to be for unification. And we thought it was going to be on Showtime, but it's looking more like Amazon Prime, but you never know. So there's still a lot of things that we don't know. It's going to take at least a month or longer for Earl Spence to recover from that. I don't know how much fighting shape he's in. And we don't know what's going on with the negotiations. But this this is a setback. If they were to fight, I would think it would be more in the summertime. Pretty much around the same time it was last year. Or, now that Earl Spence came off of this surgery, is he going to try to get a filler fight in between and maybe see how his vision is?
But I just want to give my two thoughts on all of this. You know, I, I hope we get to see the fight, and I will hope we get to see the fight at 154 as well. But let me know what y'all think about all this in the comments.